um, crafting. Uh, so, but yes, so you obviously want people that are going to do the same kind of stuff as you, but I would recommend trying to find one where they are active because it is a lot more fun. Oh, I forgot about this daily quest. Let's head around there and do it quickly. Get a bit more status and some experience. Never hurts. So what this quest does is it removes your ability to fly, um, so anybody get to the top of a mountain, along the way you're going to get attacked by some pterodactyl type creatures, which again means you can't do this quest if you're um, a lower level one. But there are a couple of these daily ones which you can do at low levels but this isn't one of them. And another one attacking, so let's kill him quickly. I think there's one more creature that, that'll attack me after this. The point I want to get to is this blue blob on the map here, so that's fine. Uh, I think there's one that attacks me around about here, but I'm, yep, there it is. So that's the last one. Okay, it's dead. No, I need to run uh, up here and then a little bit around here. And then go on. Up, 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 up. No, that's wrong. I'll try again. Around this way, around this way. There you go. I'm at the top, but not right at the top. There I'm at the top. And I got my Mountaineer achievement. So once again, 5,500 status for me, which means 550 for the guild. Because it's the first time I've done this on this character, I also get 25,000 status, which is 2,500 for the guild, which helps your guild build up status. Status can be used to buy stuff, so that's always helpful too. So, where well you can try and build it up. That's for, for guilds, your biggest benefit to the guild is that guild halls cost status points each month to keep open um, so you want to have as much status in in the guild as you can so that you keep the guild hall open otherwise you'll have issues Kill these guys. And, uh, I'm gonna hand these two quests in. Come on, die, die, die. Oh, cats just wandering past m my legs.
Now one of the problems about flying over here, which I'll just touch on briefly, is that there are little red shinies that can be on the, the ground. Now, to be honest, I've never found one, but some of the guys in, in the guild have. And these little red sh shinies contain wall runes, which allow you to craft some very nice items. But if you fly in up high to avoid all the mobs and not be attacked, you're not going to see them, which is then a problem. So that's that's one of the better ways that I feel that Sony have made sh sure that people um, s experience more. But they um, have really let people know about it. So quite a few people don't know about them, that don't know that they exist, so wouldn't be running lower to try and find them. It's just a bit of a shame really. Should have been fairly easy to put it in one of the early quests, let have have mention of it, make it obvious so that people can pick it up and experience more of the game. Backpacks full. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hold on then. There's a little bit of a trick you can do now. You couldn't before at AOM, but now you can actually open the broker. That's better. And then I can drag some stuff from the broker, or from my bags rather, into the broker. Don't have to actually make them f for sale. Just do it to clear up some space so that uh, I can keep picking up stuff. Saves you having to go back to your house and try and drop things off and then come back to where you were and just makes things a little bit easier. It's a bit gamey because you know, but I certainly want to put in the feature, I'm not going to argue with them. Yeah, so I need to kill 15 of these guys and I need to capture five spiders. Now capturing the spiders is a little bit tricky because what you've got to do is get close enough to cast the item but stay far enough away that the spider doesn't see you and try and attack you because they are automatically aggro. Welcome to Dragon Infernos.
Oh, I didn't want to do that. Not concentrated. Oh, I'll we'll have to find another one. There's a Ruby Emperor. I do need to kill them. Let's kill him. Uh, Dragon Inferno, if you've got any questions, anything you want to see, um, please feel free to ask. That is kind of why I'm doing this stream. So, yeah, and enjoy. As you can see, he's gone white, which can be a bit confusing. Normally, a white creature is one that's the same level as you, but uh, in this instance, it means he's passive. Look closer, there you go, not and cast. How many do I have here? Doesn't actually count on the quests until you hand in, and as you run up to him, you kind of hand them all in. So that is five, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, one more Ruby Emperor, and then I can go and hand these both in. There he is. I'll kill him. Bang, bang, bang. One thing I have found if you're new to Twitch, which I didn't know when I first started watching Twitch, is that uh, there appears to be about a minute delay between what I'm doing on the game and when it comes out in the stream. So if you ask a question, I'm afraid it will take quite a minute for me to see it and then be able to answer. So apologies for that, but nothing much I can do. That's uh, so. That's how Twitch works. So this will be a t tank belt. This one is more of a general belt. It is an upgrade for me. So I'm probably going to equip it. Um, crit chance is a bit lower. Recovery speed. I don't really need at the moment, but I can reforge that later. But it's mm, actually saying that hmm, I don't know because it's got high stamina, but slot and slightly higher intelligence, yeah, I'll equip it. Ah, oh, where is it? That one there? That's the one, yep. Okay, let's hand the other one in to someone. Oh, I forgot that this guy's the other end of the island, so let me head across there. What I'll do is I'll just try and see if there's 